Well, today's the day. We're about to head off into Western Fieldland. Um, been a fair bit of snow around, but the weather look, looks quite good. I've got um, 15 brand new cameras in there, and this is their first test. So we'll be exchanging um, batteries and cards, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what we get. In the Henry Burn, and this is our first drop off. The, uh, we've got a camera here at the bottom of this slip's about the only place we can land. Okay, this is uh, first camera, it's a spy point BF7, new one to us. It's on a good site here so uh, we're pretty looking forward to seeing what we get. These cameras you can remove so it makes things servicing them a little bit easier. I can read we've got 338 triggers. It's not a high traffic area this one but it's a, a very useful one because it links up dusky sound and wet jacket arm. The cameras have been in here six months. Here's the important part, it's the card. Precious stuff, number four with its 338 shots. Replace the card, check the lens. Fond memories of this site in 1971. This is the place where we first found moose sign for sure. Um, it's more of a travelling route than a feed route, but it's a link with um, Wet Jacket Arm, so it's an important site for us. Here we are in, in Herrick Creek, top clearing, 831 triggers on this one, sounds promising. This is a good, quite a good site, um, there's a sunny future face and two trails converge and run along the bottom of the hill. This is an amazing spot, almost the exact spot where we got the suspect moose photograph with a natural history um, camera in July 1995, yeah, right here. Okay, that's number five. Um, that'll be right for another six months. Okay, we've got 352 triggers on this one. Now number three, top clearing here at Creek. Nice, traf nice traveling trail here alongside the creek. So we put our little safety wire on for the possums and the keys, and that's nicely set up now. Come back in six months.
we're above the lake at Herrick Creek, and the lake acts like a, a sort of a barrier. Um, trails converge here, so we've got a five cameras bracketing the main trails as, as best we can. Now we're ready to go. This camera is more of a, a general view, but there's quite a bit of converging traffic um, coming around the side of the lake or alongside the dry area um, beside the creek. The camera's somehow got a bit of moisture in it, and this is not surprising in this place. A pity we didn't get full life out of this camera. It's a wonderful sight for places like the Roar because um, animals tend to use a few open spaces in these, uh, in these valleys for a bit of um, social interaction and of course the Roar is a wonderful time for that. We're heading for the spit now which is at the entrance of this little creek. It's a it's a dry sandy area and it's a crossing point for uh, a lot of animal traffic across the top of the lake here. Right, another Reconyx camera on the, on the spit here, one of my favourite spots. Okay, looks alright. Number 13, good luck. This is what we would consider as likely to be moose sign because it's a, the kind of characteristic feeding they have. It's a reach up, grasp, break the branch with a, with a twist of their neck and, and strip it. So here's what it's done with, with this. It's a Caprosma rotundifolia and, and two of the leading branches of that stem. Um, old now, of course, probably at least one season, perhaps 18 months old. There's 2,880 shots. Um, yeah, we're at Wet Jacket Arm um, at the mouth of Herrick Creek, and of course the uh, the end of the of the creek and the beginning of the sound is a sort of a barrier, natural barrier to animals, and animals tend to walk inside the bush on on trails. So um, we've monitored this one. It's a new site for us, so I'm quite keen to see how it does. There we are, M11, that's our coast watch. Okay, we're back and that was really exciting. It's good to go back to an old patch which we know so well on the ground. But um, we've got the cameras in there now and they're going to be ticking away for another six months. But the exciting bit is we still have to find out what the last six months brought. So um, 15 cards from 15 cameras um, 
some really neat stuff to come.